Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we are going to talk about quick overview on the controllers. What is the role of controllers in NetJS? So the, the main objective of these controllers are to receive the request and based on the route specific it will navigate to a particular method and based on that it will respond to a uh, request. Okay. So you can see here for a particular class we are using annotation controller to convert a particular class to as a controller now we have defined all these routes user get user post user delete all these apis has been constructed like this okay so what we are doing we are just using annotation controller and then providing the path so this become your api path and then you can just create a sub path if you want okay you can create these controllers through the nestjs cli okay so how we are actually accessing uh, request response object in SJS. So earlier in the express we used to handle uh, the request and response from the express. So we used to do import and request. So if you want a framework specific Im uh, implementation then that can also be done here. I like in this particular method I have this email so what I can do is I can use a request annotation and request so if you wanted to access the request object okay what I am getting in the request object you can access it here see these annotations are similar like uh, annotation body annotation param annotation query similarly we have annotation request okay with the help of that you can access what is coming the request body and then you whatever you wanted to do you can just play around with this okay so these all annotations we have annotation body annotation params annotation body annotation query we have used somewhere right these annotations are helping us to just grab the data from the request object right similarly we have annotation request and annotation next is also there next function if you remember in the express we we were using it as a middleware right so before checking something and if all are okay then we used to execute next function okay annotation headers if you wanted to access some headers your header name and some dto uh, like data header or something and you will access the headers from there access you will be importing so this is headers not header okay. we'll get headers from a particular object so similarly we can access the at the rate request req this is also a way of accessing the request object and all right here you can say req and request right oh sorry i didn't put a closing that's why it was complaining so we can add all the different things like we have a query body param session next request response okay so these are these all different things you can use to extract the data from the request payload like if you wanted to check uh, the header is having a particular uh, authentication header or not then you can use it okay so by default all these api routes will return status code 200 if you want like some uh, custom status code http code you can say 204 if something has been created we are not returning any content then you can use http code it will just override this behavior and it will send 204 status code for it by default it is uh, 200 okay if you wanted to set some custom header for this particular request header and here you can set cache control and that is none there is no caching let me just check uh, in the header we put cache control so we 
and it is set to none so this is how you can set a header for a particular request this should come on the top oh i don't know why i put this semicolon every time okay so this is how you can set uh, headers you can also do the redirect redirection on a particular route using redirect so i'm just trying to say that these all all the options are available in nextjs if you wanted to redirect to a particular route when this request is getting hit okay and the query parameters like if you wanted to directly access we have used this query parameter if you wanted to directly get some particular query parameter like username password or some query parameter just provide the name and just transform it to that type and you can extract it okay route parameter we have already seen this is how you define the route parameter and you can access it okay you can also directly access it using just putting the email but we are doing some dto validation so i put an object here okay uh, these all basic things we are doing so now most of our routes will be asynchronous right so you can also create a async function like async post user because we will be doing a database writes so in that case it will not be returning data here we have to return something related to that uh, user right and this add user should be returning a promise not a user so you can see i can just convert this method to return a promise of type user and i can just say promise dot resolve and this is fine i mean you can just write a new promise and return a promise from there uh, why this is complaining type user is missing okay so this is how you can create an asynchronous controller in the services also you will be getting the promises and you are returning directly there right this is asynchronicity of the promises and we have already talked about these dto's to do the validation like in the post user we are actually writing user dto in user dto uh, we have defined the types of okay that email should be of type email not null uh, should be defined and we are using validation pipe for it so before this request is handover to uh, the handler these validations will run over that and based on that only we will be able to process the request okay so these are called data transfer object these can be applied to the route parameter also like here we are validating the email should be of type email not undefined okay so these all exist in the controllers we have already talked about basic controllers how to pass the query parameter route parameter how to use these annotations get put post delete patch all these annotations you can use okay and once the controller is done we add this in the module and we just uh, this user module is already part of app module so these controllers will be added there okay uh, we have already seen if you wanted to create a library specific like uh, you are accessing the request here i will just give this example we have already seen requests added request somewhere like if you wanted to respond in the express way like express framework we have already used so here i will use the response annotation and this response is coming from express okay this annotation i need to import and then i can say res dot send dot json i can get this data and what i can return is response dot status http status dot uh, http status dot created i mean whatever the status created deleted and dot send so if you wanted to customize this message you can do that response dot status sorry for the typo okay uh, we are expecting some return right so in that case we will not be able to return and this is what we are getting 
response is of type response request is of type request okay and this find all okay let me see response why it is complaining let me just figure it out okay so this is how you can add the annotations and all and you can actually customize the response based on the if you want express based implementation what we are doing we are getting this request and response from express okay i think this is the problem i didn't get this from express okay now it is clear right okay yeah so i'm using the express based implementation using request response from there and then you can override it response dot status response dot status dot send response dot status dot json if you are sending something right something like this okay so we have covered little bit of the controllers next we can cover the services